Hey guys, Otto from Everything Amiibo, back with another rumor, this time pertaining to the Nintendo NX, and it's some pretty big stuff if it's true, but you might want to take a pinch of salt with this one. So guys, this is some pretty crazy stuff. First of all, anything pertaining to the Nintendo NX is exciting stuff and newsworthy. Um, but this has some really, really juicy information. I'm not going to go into it yet because I want to make it very, very clear that this is totally a rumor. As I said in the Twilight Princess video, like, you know, that one you could take for a fact. Basically, this is from a reliable source, Liam Robertson, who is part of... Sorry, I've forgotten. Unseen 64, I'm pretty sure. And he is known for leaking stuff that's true all the time. He's a really, really great uncover of all of these hidden things and leaks and everything like that. So he can be re he can really, really be trusted. So we can take what he says um, as total fact, as long as it's not something ridiculous. Um, and what he got this from was a server that he was doing, or somebody sent it to him from a website slash company called GFK. This is a marketing type company um, and they were doing a Nintendo survey and he's confirmed that it was like a completely legit survey. So the survey that he was doing was run by Nintendo for real. It was a real survey that Nintendo had, um, you know, they'd given information to this marketing company and this marketing company created a survey for people to go and do for Nintendo. And as he was doing this, he came along some came across some crazy Nintendo NX information. So that'll be up on the screen, and you can read that. I'm also going to read that. And there's a lot of stuff in here. So, again, this could be a mistake on the part of the GFK company. This could be them vying for publicity um, at the expense of losing Nintendo, of course, or, or getting sued. I don't know. Um, most likely, I think this is just fake information that some employee put in for some reason or another, but it could be entirely true. So we'll go ahead and read all of that because it's all of it is great, um, except maybe the first bullet point. Uh, Nintendo NX. Nintendo NX. Well, first of all, it says you will see some information about the Nintendo NX console. I'm not going to go find that survey and see what that means, what the questions it's asking you, because obviously the most important details are right here because he would have posted some more if there, if the question was really relevant. Anyway, Nintendo NX. Exclusive game franchises featuring Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, and more. That's very obvious. Connect with other Nintendo players around the world via Nintendo Network. Now, if that is true, actually, that's kind of some news, because we know they're not gonna, gonna uh, like, uh, stop Nintendo Network and replace it with a new service. I mean, that's kind of what they promised already, but it's pretty unsure with the whole new, like, username service and, or reward service and everything so it looks like that's going to link to nintendo network rather than replacing it but we'll see that might just be rubbish um gameplay flows between nintendo nx console and nintendo nx handheld device so that is a bombshell apparently it is both an, a handheld and a console and if we look at the what's in the box real quick skip down to that it says nintendo nx console sensor bar game controller hdmi cable it does not say portable nx console so either it's literally one physical piece that you tear apart and put back together which is called the nintendo nx console or you buy the portable separate or the console separate you buy them um, at the same time in different boxes i don't know Next bullet point, gameplay flows between Nintendo NX console and Nintendo NX handheld device, which that is very interesting. My guess is what that means is not that it's going to be like the Wii U because that's just the Wii U again, but rather you can take it on the go. So save files, even you're just going along in your quest in your Pokemon game and you have to go get on the train. So you press a button and boom, the whole game is on your portable and you, whoops, head out the door. So that would be useful. That's all I can think of on the spot right now, but there's plenty of other things you could do with that. I'm not going to speculate too much because we actually don't know that any of this is true at all. Um, all right, next.